uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today uh, we will solve this uh, interview question okay so here this is a one kilo ohm resistance and there are two the uh, diodes let's say the iod dot the ideal diodes okay ideal diodes and here our v is present uh, with 10 sin omega t this is our input waveform we can see and there are two uh, voltage sources uh, having this polarities okay this is a voltage source and this is a voltage source so now we have to draw the output wave from okay so we and uh, uh, we know that to conduct diode uh, the p side of the diode must be greater than the n side of the diode right so we can see that the input is increasing from 0 volt to like 10 volt right this is let's say this is our T by uh, 4 and this is our let's say time period T okay and let's say this is our uh, T by 8 right so uh, we can see that uh, we can uh, apply the open circuit test right so let let plot again so for open circuit test so this is open here is our 5 volts and this is also open and here is our 5 volt in this polarities okay and here is our let's say v in 1k and here the polarity is like this and here the polarity is like this right so for open circuit test we can see that uh, like before the v in is 5 volt right so let's say v in is here is uh, 4 point let's say 9 volt right so for open circuit test 4.9 volt will also appear in, in uh, here right here will be 4.9 volt and let's say this is our ground point eh? okay so we, we can make this right so for calculation easy calculation right now we can see that here is our 4.9 volt and here here is our minus 5 volt we can directly tell that right so if here is 4.9 volt here will be the 4.9 volt as well right and here and here the voltage is 5 uh, 5 volt right according to this polarity right this will be 5 volt and this will be minus 5 volt so we can see that both of the diodes it is not conducting before v in equals 5 right because here here vp this is uh, this is uh, inside right so for for this must uh, for this uh, for this uh, diode the vp is less than vn and for this diode as well vp is less than vn right because because this is our this is our n side for this diode right so here the vp is like vp is 4.9 right for, for this mosfet uh, for this diode right and here vn is vn is right oh sorry 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 so vn here right vn here is uh, 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 5 volt right so vn here is 5 volt yes and vp is 4.9 volt so th this is this is meeting right like here the vp is not greater than vn so the di diode is off so so we can see that that this diode is off now for this diode we can see that this is our p side right so here we have p side is minus 5 volt and n side having 4.9 volt so this is obviously the vp is very very less than vn right so this is also off so before v in equals 5 volt before v in equals 5 volts the both the diode will be off then what will be the picture the picture will be nothing but this so this is our v in plus minus this is our so what what we can see that all the voltages appears to the output voltage like there is no voltage drop right because this is open circuit right so there will be ir will be zero so all the v, uh, v in appears to the v out so our output follows the input up to v less than 5 volt like up to 5 volt right so the waveform will be look like this it follows the input waveform right up to this now if it goes 5.1 volt let's say v in goes 5.1 volt right so here here we have now 5.1 volt here we have 5.1 volt right and here we will have we will be having minus 5 volt and here we will be having plus 5 volt right so we can see that here the p side is p side is 5.1 and it is greater than this 5 the n side right so this diode this diode will conduct but this diode is 
of like this diode this diode will be still off right because the p side like the ends uh, the p side is minus 5 volt and inside is 5.1 volt so this diode is is or uh, is still off right so the picture will be the v in greater than 5 volt uh, the picture will be look like this right so this diode is conducting and this is having zero cut in voltage as this is the ideal diode so this is one k and this is our let's say v in and this is our 5 volt right and this is our ground so we can directly say that the output is fixed at 5 volt okay because this is a constant source, source right so output is set to 5 volt so draw the plot so we can see that up to up to that point up to that point up to this time period up to this time period let's say up to up to that time period the v in is greater than 5 so the output voltage is fixed to 5 voltage right so this will be like this now we can see that like after after like in this time period okay let's say so this is our t by 2 right we can see that uh, from this time period from this time duration from this time duration the v in is decreasing right from 5 to 5 to 0 voltage right from 5 to 0 voltage now let's say this is again let's say this is 4.9 again and this is 4.9 again so this is off still off right this is still off and this also goes off right so the picture will be same like this right the both the diode will be open circuited so it follows the v in again okay in this time duration the v out follows the v in again because both the diode are off okay so this will be open circuited so now it follows again so this will be the waveform okay now now we can see that after t by 2 after t by 2 the uh, input is decreasing from 0 to some negative voltages right we can see that so let's say the let's say let's say the v in is now let's say the v in is now minus 4.9 volt okay so what will be the picture so here 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 we have minus 4.9 volt right here we have minus 4.9 volt right so we can see that this is this is our p side and having minus 4.9 volt and this is plus 5 volt so this dial never conduct right and we, here we can see that this is minus 4.9 volt and here we have minus 5 volt so this diode will not conduct as well right so this will follow the input as well from like the picture will be like this so so up to this up to this let's say this is our minus 5 right so up to minus 5 voltage up to minus 5 voltage the output follows the input again okay again now let's say our v in is v in is v in is our less than minus 5.1 volt okay now now we can see that here we have minus here we have now minus 5.1 volt and here we have minus 5 volt and here we also have minus 5.1 volt okay so we can see that the p side of this diode is lesser than this so this will be off but in this case we can see that here we have minus 5 volt and here like in this case we have minus uh, minus 5.1 volt right so we can see that this is the p side right so we can see that minus 5 volt is greater than minus 5.1 volt so vp is greater than vn in this case so this diode will conduct now okay so this fast diode this fast diode will conduct like conduct fast like this diode will, will conduct and this diode will not conduct so so the picture will be look like this right so here we have on k and this diode is conducting and we have uh, we have like this right so this is our picture so this is our v in and this is our ground so this is r and this is our minus 5 and this is our output as well right this is our output as well so our output is fixed to minus 5 volt okay okay when when whenever our v in is lesser than minus 5.1 volt or let's say minus 5 volt okay 
as, like here I am showing minus 5 point on so that you can understand better. Okay, but this is we know that this is exactly equal to minus 5, right? So here the output is fixed to minus 5 volt, right? And up to that, like in this time period, in this time period, in this time period, again the both the diode will be off. So this will follow the input as well. So this will be look like this. So each cycle, this phenomena happen. So this will be look like this, and then it fixed to plus 5 volt, then it follows the input follows the input up to here then it fixed to minus 5 volt and it follows the input again so this will be the circuit okay now here a question comes what will be the significant of this circuit okay what is the significant of this circuit so we can see that this is a clipper circuit right it clips plus 5 volt to minus 5 volt okay so this is a clipper circuit okay clipper circuit so the final waveform will be look like this right Okay, let me. So this is this is the final waveform. Okay. So the so the final waveform, okay. I am showing. So the final waveform will be this, like, right? So this is a clipper circuit. Okay, this is the final wave. So thank you, everyone. If you like our video, you can uh, subscribe our channel and give your valuable feedback. Thank you.